What is happening guys, Mike here. Welcome back to the channel for an all new product review. Today we are taking a look at a new product from Flagship, the White Water Liquid Pomade. I'm sure all of you are super excited about this one and interested in seeing what this is all about. And as usual, I'm prepared to offer you guys the most detailed review that you're going to find on this product here on YouTube. According to Flagship, the new White Water Liquid Pomade is the newly adopted brother to the widely popular black water. And what they have for us here basically is an unorthodox water-based pomade in liquid form. So an easy way to describe it is you take everything you know and love about pomades of this type, make it super liquidy, add in a pump, boom, we got white water. Of course, there's more than that that goes into it. There's more specifics to it too that can't be ignored, like a firm hold and natural shine, for example, and a tobacco, oat wood, and leather scent. Size and price-wise though, we have an eight ounce bottle, the exact same size as black water for the same price as well, $20 $2 US. Here's now a look at the product itself. It does come in the same kind of pump as Blackwater, but I do have some new info for you guys here regarding that pump and what's going to be offered for the future, a little insider info, if you will. And we'll get to that in a second. I wanted to show you guys real quick how liquidy this stuff really is here. I mean, it's insane to me that this stuff is this watery, but it still has some stickiness and tack in there just a little bit. Honestly, though, it does feel like this stuff compared to other pomades should be a lot thicker than it is based on the presence of the product that I'm feeling. I mean, usually I only see this level of, you know, stickiness and tack in things that have a lot of wax in it. And then because of that, it's generally pretty thick. So it's pretty cool to me that it's got this nice watery consistency while still having a lot of presence. Now, before we go into the demos with the white water, I do real quick want to send it over to the creator of this product and the flagship brand, actually, Mr. Cody Wade Branson. He asked if he could just step in and make a little PSA during this review regarding some packaging and some, you know, future changes coming to the white water good afternoon guys great to see you all again uh, know that you guys are watching Mike Smith's uh, review of our white water product and we wanted to have some uh, quick additions to that because we had some updates know that may seem kind of funny right off the gate but we had some changes and um, a couple different directions so wanted to cover those for you guys today first thing is going to be our packaging um, we of course are going to still be sticking to the eight ounce bottle that we've had uh, for the entirety of these products, but we are going to be switching them to dispenser caps. It's been something that we've been talking about for a while um, and it just seems like it's the right direction to go. Um, and so what those look like, I'll put those in there now so that you can see it. Here's our black water. We're going to be trying to keep them to the amber bottles um, at times that is going to have to change. Um, I don't know if you've noticed, but there's been a pandemic, whether you believe in it or not, but at the same time, what it, that has caused in the industry is that there is a uh, shortage of eight ounce bottles. Doesn't matter what color, size, shape, whatever. So for us, you know, we buy ahead, it's great, but at the same time, sometimes it does line up to where we don't have those same packaging anymore. So um, we're going to be continuing to use the black, uh, the amber Boston round bottles that we've been using this whole time. That being said, um, also in this, I'm going to show you the other packaging so that you have an idea. They will be these natural finished plastic. Um, still looks great, um, but once again, kind of have to roll with it. So if you get a different color package, don't be alarmed. That's how it's supposed to be. On the flip side of that, I also want to show you guys the consistency of the product now. Right, so I wanted to show you these. This is the new packaging, um, which once again shows you the dispenser. I have a little sideshow of that as well, but I wanted to show you guys just, once again, it's, it's liquid, which is awesome. So that's another adjustment that you're going to see in comparison uh, to what it was before. We know we had some issues with pumps, issues with things like that, uh, consistency. Um, but going forward, you're going to receive a product that is actually liquid in the bottle. Um, performance on the other hand does not change. Um, I've gone through some rigorous testing with it. Everything turned out fantastic. Um, I actually like it better because it's easier getting the hair. You don't have to worry about tapping your bottle as I know we've given people the information to do, uh, but now we don't have to do that. That being said too, we also have another option for both of these products, black water and white water. White water is going to be in these two ounce airless pumps, which you can see here. 
um, with the new consistency it's great but these are also one of those that do not have a tube in them so they're don't have to worry about it clogging anything like that um, and it also will allow you to have these products at a cheaper price point and it will also allow you to take these for travel so um, we'll have those on the site as well uh, there'll be options to our distributors and what they will do is allow us to uh, allow people to try these without having to purchase a full bottle of the product um, although we feel that you'll will want to get the full bottle as always so um that's our updates just wanted to keep you guys in the loop let you know what we had going on um i'm gonna hand it back over to mike over with modern man thanks for your time this is getting fun for me i kind of feel like we're in a newscast right now thank you cody now on to sports in all seriousness i do hope you took a few minutes to check that out though because that was a lot of really important info that hasn't yet been shared regarding this product so it is stuff that you probably should have should watch if you just skipped through it go back and take a look because you're going to want to know some of that stuff when the product goes through the changes that are coming but now though let's jump straight into using this stuff and i am going to be doing this one a bit differently you see usually i'd go for what i found to be the best method for me usually that's dry hair we all know this from the past videos and usually i've had a strong opinion against towel dried hair or damp hair styling but i got to be 100 percent honest with this one this using this product using whitewater absolutely changed changed my view completely on not just damp hair styling but pre-styling too but first before we get to that let me show you three different results that i got with the white water each one looks pretty good in my opinion there are two here though that i like better than the third but let's just go down the line and check each of these out starting first with dry hair this is my hair freshly washed and blow dried no tonics oils anything like that and i'm adding in the first pump of white water and really as I do, it's kind of weird, honestly. It doesn't take over as much as I was expecting it to based on how it feels in the hand. I was kind of expecting it to you know, completely take over. It's actually quite light though when I put it in my hair. Again, that was a surprise to me. It does glide through there quite nicely. It, it doesn't really take over as much as I thought, so it was pretty easy. The second pump is completely different though. This is where stuff started to really pick up. And that hold that I was expecting really start to set in there and you know, we're kind of in business now i can really feel it taking over but i think that third pump still was needed to fully lock in my hair and now that i'm adding that i can really feel the product coming through and the actual strength of the product is very clear to me now being as it's still nice and slick though and it's got a good helping of shine there the combing isn't hard at all it responds really well to the comb and begins shaping almost immediately honestly i do think volume is overall a bit low but i think that's mostly because the hair is so locked in that it's not able to really become volumized and honestly when I look at the end result here I do have to say I think the style produced is is good but not great here though is that same style at the end of the day this is about nine hours later and it was pretty hot that day too with large amounts of humidity as well and I think there's maybe a little movement there but overall the style is pretty locked in there's really not any other way to explain it I mean if I got this much hold still almost nine hours later in the heat I'll take it all day long. Now though, let's move on to the second style, damp or towel dried hair, however you want to say it. I fully reset my hair here and to be fair, I'm going to be using the same amount of product as I did the dry hair test and what I saw here was kind of crazy for me because it felt a lot different than the dry hair test. See the dry hair test showed more tack and slickness with the shine when responding to dry hair and here with my hair being in this state the waxes are coming across more dry than anything else. It was kind of weird. Even with that though the comb was still able to work nicely due to the bit of moisture left in my hair and seriously this like never happens to me with damp hair. It's actually styling easier and it's looking better. This never happens happens it may never happen again who knows I got the volume I was missing from the dry hair test it's shaping easier it's looking fuller at the same time honestly I was a bit blown away about this like I said this never happens I really liked the end result a lot better here here's also a quick look at this one eight hours later as well you can see it too has the hold fully intact and it actually still is looking pretty locked in as the moisture has evaporated and the only thing that's left now is the raw materials from the formula and that really allows it to lock the hair in and then the other part 
parts of the formula allow it to stay there once this happens. So you really get a well-rounded look at this product. For style number three though, we have pre-styling. And I did this because one, I saw a few of you asking about it. And two, I was pretty curious myself. And this is also where I mentioned that my view kind of got changed a little bit because this method in the past anyway, I stay, I've stay. i stayed away from pre-styling with stuff with any type of shine. I've just found that with the heat from the blow dryer and you have a product with shine, it just really makes it look greasy or it makes the hair look thin. It's, it's just not as full as what I like with a product that works really well, like with heat, you know, stuff with like that's dry, natural, things like that. So, you know, and there's a good helping of shine in this product. So I didn't really expect it to work out that well, but you know, everything's different now everything's been changed this here is only one pump just one pump and i have to say this looks freaking awesome in my opinion we got volume we've got a nice shape and man that style is clean cut i also love how quick it was this was as simple as one pump and a blow dryer and i really don't think it turned out greasy in the least especially when i blasted it with that cold air and that might actually be the key to getting this to look this good that cold air blast and again that finish it really came out looking natural instead of more on the shiny side that we saw with the other methods. Seriously, I was totally blown away by that, but we got a lot more to cover, so we're going to keep things moving here, moving into the scent. And overall, I have to say it's it's not a bad scent. It's not bad. It's just not my favorite scent that Flagship has produced. I'm not a huge fan of Ode or I don't know how oud oud. I don't know how to say that anyway. I'm not a huge fan of it personally, and I think it really takes over the fragrance in this case. So you don't get a lot of the other notes that are in there, and it really aggravated my allergies. So it just was a little bit tough for me in that area. Luckily, though, after a little bit, I actually didn't smell it much in my hair. After you know maybe like 30 minutes or so, it actually lightened up a lot in my hair. So that made it a lot easier for me. But when I could catch a whiff of it, I found myself just choking up a storm. But you know, so so. It, you know, take that for what you will. I'm fully admitting that I have a scent allergy. And so take that opinion for what you will. I've just, you know, it wasn't my personal favorite, but that's my thoughts on the scent. Next though, we have washout and this just like the styling methods, this one here depended on how how I used the product. When I did the pre-styling test, I found it to rinse out with just water, no issue at all, completely fine. When I did the damp hair test, I actually think about 98% of it came out with water too. A lot of it came out with water. It might have actually fully come out. I just, I thought I saw a little bit left in there. So I went ahead and shampooed and that of course took it all the way out, just one shampoo, but it might have actually fully come out with water. I mean, a lot of it really did. The third test, though the one where I did it all on dry hair that one definitely did not come out with just water that one had a shine left over after the water hit it and shampoo just one round of shampoo by the way took it out and again I consider that to be an easy washout still since I wash my hair every day so for me that still qualifies as easy washout but that is what I saw in the washout category now though before I give you guys my final opinion on the white water I think there's one question left that I'm sure is just burning in your brains and if you're not thinking about it well you're you're about to think about it can you use white water and black water together oh yeah I went there. I wanted to know myself. I was completely curious and I'm sure some of you probably went there as well. I mean, am I right? This is this is very interesting stuff. I mean, you have white water, you have black water. Can you mix them? Can you use them together? I absolutely found an answer to that and it's called boom, gray water. Oh yeah. Yep. And I and yes, I did Google what gray water is and I said what I said. This here is my own mix, 50-50 of each in the bottle. And honestly, I spent more time setting this whole thing up than really thinking about whether or not it would actually work. But hey, let's see what happens. It certainly feels like a lot's going on in the hand. And you know, this is exciting stuff. Let's see what happens. When I did add it to my hair though, I quickly had an idea of what was happening. But for the sake of this video, I just kept things going. But, but what I saw right away was the white water when cocktailed with the black water directly, it takes over completely completely erasing pretty much all aspects of the black water. You can't even hardly tell it's there. And while 
Honestly, the end result here isn't bad. It's not bad. I still think it looks kind of good, but I wanted to see if there was a way that I could use them together and actually get attributes from each of the products. And I do believe I found a way to do that. Here's what I did. First, I had to hit the reset button on my hair and get rid of all that other mess. Second, I found the key was pre-styling with the white water, just like I showed you in the second demo there, the exact same deal. Hit it with the blow dryer, hit it with the cool settings. Once I had that done, I then added the black water and I think I got a much better result. You see that black water comes in at the end with a little bit of texture, but its dryness has totally gone away due to the white water making the hair a bit softer and slicker in the pre-styling area. You basically get a style that's got a, a bit of each, like if the black water and the white water had a gray water baby. That's kind of what we got going on here and pretty much that's how I would use it. Now I'm sure somebody will wonder too what happens if you swap the two and do black water first and then white water second. And what I saw when I did that, cause you can pre-style with black water. It's a great pre-styler by the way. But what I saw when I did that was pretty much the exact same result as when I cocktailed the two together. You know, the white water in that capacity just completely takes over and you have no idea the, the black water was even there. So for me, the best method, if, at least from my hair, was what I just showed you guys that totally worked out the best and came out with a pretty cool result. That being said though, my final thoughts on this product are as follows. I think this was a really cool product. I really enjoyed the testing aspect, you know, putting it through the paces and finding all the different ways to use it. And some of the things I liked about it specifically was the hold. I think for sure it's in the realm of firm, especially when you use a few pumps. I also really liked how it has a clear, distinct difference when compared to black water. It's not as dry. It doesn't even have the same hold. It might have similar hold, but black water is much more dry, for example. So it's, it feels a lot different in the hair and it doesn't produce texture at all. I mean, it doesn't need to because you have black water. So I think it's awesome to me that they didn't just take black water, pull the clay out and call it good. In other words, they actually took the time to make it a distinct different product with very specific different attributes and I, I enjoy stuff like that. I was also really impressed with the styles produced in damp hair and pre-styling. I really enjoyed getting a new perspective on those styling methods from those tests and again even though I don't prefer it all the time I got to give credit where it's due in that one. A few pieces of criticism though that I would just like to toss out here would probably have to do first with the pump. It, the pump was a little bit hard to deal with, especially after using it a couple of times, it clogs. But after seeing the update it, it, from Wade, it, that's kind of obsolete criticism because they are doing away with it, it sounds like. But the, and I do think it's gonna work out a lot better, the little push cap there, because the pump really gets clogged easily. But the product itself, if it didn't clog, it would just, it would be totally fine. But I think that pump just clogs up a little easily and that's a little bit annoying. But also, once again, I wasn't a huge fan of the scent. I found it a bit strong for my allergies. And as I stated earlier, the dry hair demo didn't quite produce a style that I was as happy with compared to the other tests. It just, it, you know, left me wanting more, which led me to pursue other styling methods. And that resulted in something good, but I'd still wanted to make sure to mention for other dry hair stylers that it did not produce a style that I was fully happy with. Now for you thick haired folks, you got thick hair like me, I think you can for sure use this. You're gonna probably have the same or similar results that I did. I think damp hair is probably going to be your best bet as well, unless, you know, you like the look that dry hair styling provides. I mean, of course you could always prefer that. I, everybody's hair is different, but I just feel like for this one, for some reason, it responds a little better in that method. Thin haired folks, you might be able to get away with both dry or damp hair styling, but my advice would be to be careful with how much you use so it doesn't overwhelm your hair, take it all over, weigh it down and things like that, because you can easily over overdo it based on how much hold this actually produces. I'd also like to take a quick second and announce to you awesome people that Flagship and I have a new item coming out as well here probably in the next couple of weeks. We're super excited. See, where it came from and what it is, is we've been getting requests like crazy since launching the Cornerstone pre-styler to actually have it released in its own fragrance. And after seeing exactly how many requests that we were getting, we 
kind of said to each other, you know, what the heck, why not give the people what they want? So here in the next couple weeks, we will be launching the official Cornerstone Cologne. I'm super excited for this. I love this scent. I know you guys have really enjoyed it as well. So this is going to be really cool. It's not going to be super expensive either. We really kept price in mind on this. And if you have any questions on it, I will be doing a launch video. So if you've got any questions on the Cornerstone Cologne, throw it in the comment section and I will answer those in the official release video. As always too, I want to thank you guys for your support on that project and this one coming up. And speaking again of support, if you'd be so kind as to hit that subscribe button there for me, I'd really appreciate that. That really helps me out a lot. That's it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed checking out Whitewater with me. If you did, make sure you drop me a like and again, throw me a comment down there in the comment section. As usual too, I will be back with you guys again very soon. And until then, stay healthy, stay safe. I'll see you next time.